Last season, the then 16th ranked USC Trojans thought they were on their way to an easy victory against the Arizona State Sun Devils when backup quarterback Mike Brickovici led the Sun Devils to three touchdowns in the final four minutes of the game, including a Hail Mary to Jalen Strong in the final play to punctuate the victory for the Sun Devils. With the game against Arizona State coming up this week, I went, to, I went out and interviewed students about where they were during the game last season. Oh wow, you're going to make me talk about that game? I was sitting in the student section. I was in one of the first couple rows. I was one of the camera people for ATVN covering the game. I was in uh, the Coliseum. I was in the lobby of New North with a bunch of my buddies and the guy that does the fingerprint scanning. And we're all like, yeah, game over, yeah, game over. And we're like, okay, yeah, last throw of the game. And we just look and we see the ball launch to the air and we're all just like, no, no. It's still a scarring moment. We were just sitting there watching, hoping for a USC victory. And there was some confusion on the defense at play. And we immediately knew that it wasn't good. And it was utter disbelief. I've never, I've never been that disappointed in a loss. It really just hit me like a ton of bricks. I still think about it. I was eating breakfast this morning thinking about it. I'll never get over that. So I already knew there was confusion um, um, on the defensive side. And it showed with the final score, unfortunately, and with, uh, with my reaction, I was heartbroken. I, well, as a USC fan, it was, it was tough to see, and you know, to lose on a Hail Mary, it's never what you want your team to do. And then you and your buddy were caught in a, in a now famous picture, you guys got on Sports and everything. What was your reaction when you saw that picture was spreading? It was uh, not the way that I planned on getting on Sports Center, but um, it, it was kind of, it was cool. It was kind of nice to get some kind of cool thing out of the loss, but um, you never, you never want to be famous for such a horrendous thing. The rest of the day was just, I was going to go out that night, everyone was just like depressed. The next like two days were just like two of the worst days of my life.